Hi, my name is Ibtihal Wadi, a PhD student at Cardiff University, and today I'm going to be presenting Assessing and Enhancing the Robustness of Brain Tumor Segmentation Using a Probabilistic Deep Learning Architecture. Testing with the robustness and the naturally induced image variation is crucial, yet it remains unexplored compared to adversarial learning approaches. So motivated by the challenge of enhancing the robustness of deep neural network decision against variable noise and MRI-based brain tumor segmentation, this study aims to 1. Develop and provide a tool to assist and protect against various perturbations and deep learning applications for brain tumor segmentation. 2. Evaluating whether adding a robustic bottleneck will enhance the model robustness against those perturbations. To study robustness, we introduce structural perturbations to the test set, describing different types of alteration to the MRI image at increasing strength. The term second perturbation actually refers to systematic and organic distortions or modification applied to the MRI images. In our experiment, we apply perturbation at varying strength level to observe their effect on the model performance to identify the degradation threshold that the model uh, can withstand. We apply two types of perturbation, generic perturbation and MRI-specific perturbation. Examples of generic perturbation are inspired by the augmentation method. We have applied Gaussian noise and Gaussian blur as form of image intensity perturbation. And for geometric transformation perturbation, we apply elastic deformation, scaling, shifting, and rotation. For MRI-specific perturbation, we try to simulate the most common artifacts found in the MRI scan. For example, resilient noise, which occurs when the MRI signal has a significant non-zero mean. Adapted from Wang et al., we simulated the following MRI acquisition artifacts, which are motion artifacts, aliasing, field inhomogeneity, and signal loss. For all of those artifacts, the assumption was made that the phase encoding direction is left to right and the frequency encoding dimension was anterior posterior. Motion artifacts in MRI are common due to patients moving their head during the acquisition process. The study used the 3D Fourier fast transform to transform the volume into case space, resulting in the image volume with motion artifacts applied. The study also simulated the aliasing, a gusset copy with multiple copies. The inhomogeneity artifact was created by randomly selected five seed location near the brain edge to simulate the bias uh, in the field uh, near the surface receiver coils. The study also uh, simulated the effect of metallic objects on MRI signal loss and distortion due to the rapid variation in the main magnetic field. This study is employed to compare the robustness of our light of net model for brain tumor segmentation with and without incorporating a probabilistic photonic. As a baseline, we tested the robustness of our proposed lightweight deep learning model, especially designed for brain tumor segmentation. This model has achieved results comparable to those of current state of the art uh, with 59 times fewer parameters. Then, to enhance the segmentation accuracy and the model robustness, we proposed adding a probabilistic distribution map at the bottleneck. The uh, probabilistic uh, bottleneck allows the model to capture and utilize uncertain or ambiguous features which can arise from differences in imaging protocols and uh, imaging artifacts. The proposed model is trained and validated using BRAT's 2020 dataset. Each scans in, the, uh, in this dataset capture four MRI modalities. Um, and the ground truth segmentation mass contains four primary classes, background, necrotic, edema, and enhancing tumor. However, to follow the common practice in the literature, we classify these uh, classes into three main tumor regions for segmentation, whole tumor, tumor core, and the sole enhancing tumor. For further preprocessing, we used min-max scalar for normalization. We cropped the image into a fixed size of 128 by 128 by 128, and the data split used is the standard 80-20 split. The total performance is measured by the per sample dust score distribution. We also used the first order resistance distance between two consecutive distributions to indicate the performance deterioration as the perturbation strength increases. The overall robustness is assessed using a box, uh, box plan fit to the performance distribution, uh, means, and its sensitivity. And by sensitivity, we mean the derivative with respect to perturbation strength. Results. For Gaussian noise, for both models, we notice that there is a stability radius at the noise level of 0.04, where there is no drop in the performance. Beyond this, we see a linear drop as the noise level increases. This is consistent across the other two tumor regions as well. 
However, model 2 experience a higher drop compared to model 1, especially for tumor core and whole, uh, whole tumor region, making it more sensitive to this perturbation. We observe the same behavior here with there is a noise, where there is a robustness plateau at level 0.04, followed by a linear drop in the performance. This is also consistent across the uh, two tumor regions. However, model 2 are highly sensitive to this noise compared to Gaussian noise for all tumor regions. While a similar robustness plateau is observed also here, the probabilistic bottleneck advantage is more pronounced with Gaussian floor. Model 2 outperform model 1 at the lower level of a floor, and this is also consistent across all tumor regions. The jump in the resistance distance indicates a linear change in the behavior at approximately a fixed slope. For motion artifacts, both models are not very sensitive to this perturbation. They remain robust up to a certain threshold, which is also consistent for all tumor regions. However, as seen here at level 7, there is a nonlinear behavior where both models' performance drops and then rises again. This indicates that once a certain uh, noise threshold is reached and the linear behavior is not observed, there are some fundamental changes in the pixel values and the image may become too blurry, preventing the model from ex extracting any further features. With aliasing, we notice an unusual behavior where both models' performance immediately drops at the lowest level of noise and then increases again. This pattern is consistent across all tumor regions. This is crucial because at a lower level of noise, a single alias adds too many new features to the image than if the uh, features were blurred out due to multiple aliases in the image. Also, it's important to note that Model 2 is more robust against this perturbation compared to Model 1. To conclude this, our research evaluates the robustness of our proposed model latab net for brain tumor segmentation with and without probabilistic bottleneck on BRATS 2020 dataset. We introduce structural perturbations and assist the model performance through per sample dash score distribution. Our findings revealed a robustness plateau radius followed by a linear decline in performance, providing two effective metrics for comparing robustness. Additionally, we discovered significant variations in robustness depending on the time of perturbation. LATABNET model is better suited to withstand perturbation related to noise and geometric transformations while LATABNET with purpose of bottleneck is more effective against perturbation that affects the model quality, sorry, the image quality and introduced spatial inconsistencies um, in the image. Uh, the ongoing challenge is to further enhance the purposes of these models. Thank you.